I'm so tired I can't move a muscle. Oh, that's a shame, because the guy from the Holy Cow joint came by earlier and left Trey a burger to the chat room. Thank you for all your It is safe out there again. Oh, thank you. But I felt pretty safe ever since you left me with your partner, Officer Lewis. Feisty little thing, isn't she? She makes me feel safe, too. Usually I'm a little anxious about leaving my patients, but these past couple of days I've gotten to meet some of the people in your world. Despite your circumstances, you've made a good life for yourself, Alex Murphy. I'm confident in saying that I'm leaving you in good hands. Thank you, Doctor. You know, I've been selected to join the Committee on Integration of Cybernetic Organisms into Society. I think it's important for people to know what I've learned here with you. I'll pass my conclusions along, and I hope OCP will do right by you. At least this one time. Goodbye, Alex. You don't look so hot. Was your neighborhood affected by the riots? I don't know. Once they begin, I was too afraid to leave this place. I locked myself in a storage locker. I get it. I'd probably do the same. This precinct really makes you feel secure. caught me sleeping at the desk. It's like I'm trying to convince you that I'm not cut out to be an officer. We are all tired. I talked to Reed and he said that someone from OCP already contacted him. Since the UEDs turned out to be a bust, they'll be reinstating everyone. Everyone that meets the criteria, of course. Since Becca no longer needs me, I think that's the end of my career. Will that stop you from sending in another application? What? No, never. You can count on my recommendation, officer. You do that for me? I don't know what to say. Thank you, Robocop. It's been an honor. glad that you're finally acknowledging us as a team. I couldn't have taken Wendell down without you. That guy brought a lot of suffering to this city. The phone calls I got from people begging for help made my stomach turn. It was overwhelming. At first, I didn't know what to do. First time doing something selfless. And last. I'm exhausted. I don't know how you do it. I had to help myself to a little pick-me-up that I found in the property room. You guys confiscate a lot of good stuff. That is not something you should say to me. Then I shall not say anything anymore. My medicine is starting to kick in anyway. Later, Tidman. Robo, Lewis was looking for you. She's in the locker room. That you, partner? You're back. So it's done. It is. Did Wendell do one of his kill him speeches after which he always leaves? He did. What a cheese ball. So, are you gonna stand around like that the whole day? Come on, sit down. A lot of things have changed since I wasn't around. For one, I've heard that there's another woman in your life. 
Another woman? Dr. Blanche? Seems that you two spent a lot of time talking together. I'm glad that there was someone you could lean on while I was away. You've been under a lot of pressure lately. It felt like every night at the hospital I was seeing your face on the news. People trying to dissect your every word, question who you are, your past, your future. I wanted to say how proud I am that despite having all those people look at you under a microscope, you remain so composed. I know I wouldn't handle it that well. So, how did you do that? I had help. Oh, that little thing? It served as a reminder of who I am, who I have always been. A great police officer? Among other things. I just want you to know that if you ever need to talk... I know, Louis. Thank you. So, what's next for us, partner? Our morning shift is about to start. I'll get my gear. You've got to see this! Moments ago, what was reported as an unidentified creature has entered the OCB headquarters and is creating havoc. Reports of numerous casualties are coming in. No one seems to know what caused the chaos, and most importantly, who is going to stop it. I guess the shift's starting early. Ready, partner? I was born ready. What the hell? It's like a hurricane came through. Stay alert. At least we have chopper support. Huh, no such luck. That's a TV helicopter. They're here already? Wounded. What happened here? It... It was furious. It destroyed everything in its path. What did... A monster. Robo, I'm in the Channel 9 helicopter. I'm seeing a lot of movement on the executive floor. I know exactly where that is. We need to get up there. No, get the injured out of the building. I will handle what is up there. You sure? Positive. You heard him. Let's evacuate everyone! Hurry up! sure there is no one left in the building. Will do, partner. I see you. That thing just moved to the western corner of the executive floor. It... it something... I...
careful. Uh, uh, what do you want from me? Robocop! My number one guy. There seems to be a misunderstanding. sold the city's future. That leaves one question. Scrapyard or prison creep? Murphy, what the hell was that? Just an old friend.
full of something.
him. I can't see anything. Move closer. Negative. When the building collapses, the dust cloud will choke the engine. Oh my god! Murphy! No! No, no! Another week passed since the OCP's magnificent giant has fallen. OCP's new CEO assured us that the destruction of its headquarters will not stand in the way of finishing Delta City. Japanese corporation Kanemitsu has already shown interest in OCP's most prominent project. We at Media Break welcome them with open arms. Delta City Yokoso! From the City of Wonders, we're back to Detroit. John Mills goes down in the history of the city as its shortest serving mayor, excluding premature death. He offered his resignation on his very first day of office. According to a reliable source, Mills expressed, and I quote, I did not sign up to run this dump. Are the new elections ahead of us, and has the city recovered after the previous ones? Now it's time to introduce a new segment, You the Detroiters where we share feel-good stories from our local communities. An escaped python terrorizing the local neighborhood has been reunited with its owners. But that wasn't the only thing that was returned. X-ray of the reptile's insides has shown the stolen watches together with the remains of the thief himself. Pickles, a local addict, was so intoxicated with nuke that the drug was absorbed by the python, which explains its bizarre behavior. Isn't that food for thought? Next up, Sunblock 5000 model nearly torn to pieces by an ED-209 after not adhering to the 209's instructions. The dispute over a parking space could have turned deadly if it wasn't for Dr. Olivia Blanche, a seasoned psychologist who managed to keep a cool head during the 209's intervention. Dr. Blanche's new book, Coping with Loss, is said to be of value to both people and machines alike. A defamed reporter funded by terrorists. After trying to illegally broadcast a hit piece aimed at OCP, Samantha Ortiz has been spotted collaborating with a terrorist group led by a woman known in the underworld as Bertha. OCP denies... We're sorry for the disturbance. Fortunately, this time it was a minor one. Let's move on. A new world record has been set in Detroit. A man called Funeral Bob attended his thousandth funeral this year. The record-breaking funeral belonged to Max Becker, a former OCP executive. As it turned out, Bob was its only attendee. The OCP delegation did not arrive due to a rescheduled business meeting. We hope the meeting went well. Moving on. The owner of a local restaurant, Onion Baji, in cahoots with a ring of zoo thieves. The restaurant was proved to source the ingredients through crime. The arrest was made by a rookie neighborhood cop, Ulysses Washington, and according to his statement, it wasn't the first animal he had saved. One question still remains unanswered. What happens to Robocop's human status? We've been informed that due to Mayor Mills's resignation, the matter will not be pursued by his office. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public conversation. I saw on TV that it suffers from some kind of malfunction. What if he mistakes us for criminals or something? Who's gonna defend us from him? I thought you were with us, Robo. Human rights for a robot. What's next, refrigerators? It's been a busy time for Detroit, but the cloud that lowers over the city is lifting as police end their strike. We're ready to serve, said Officer Ann Lewis, 
who returned to duty despite her recent injury. What heroism. Detroit can sleep soundly tonight. The question is, for how long? That's all for today. This was Casey Wong. Until next time.